At the top of a hill at the boundary between Maryland and Washington, D.C. is Fort Lincoln Cemetery, named for the Civil War era fort established nearby, which watched over the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad and the Bladensburg Road. One long-held myth of this land was that it holds the oldest building in Maryland. This small spring house was con conjectured to have been built as early as 1683 to support a spring contained behind a small wooden hatch. Unfortunately, the reality is the building likely dates from later ownership. It was used as a cooling space where the cool water would pool in the trough to keep milk, butter, and dairy products from spoiling. Behind the building is a truly long-time witness to the land, the Lincoln Oak. Estimated to have been a sapling in the early 1500s, this tree caught fire from a lightning strike in the 1990s. On August 24, 1814, Marines and flotilla men under the command of Commodore Joshua Barney fought a gallant stand against the British soldiers in the Battle of Bladensburg. By the time the British had pushed across Dueling Creek, encircling the troops from the far side of the current cemetery, Barney was wounded and signaled retreat. Later, the British would push into Washington, setting fire to the public buildings. In 1862, the property was seized by the United States government for the location of Battery Jameson, named for Brigadier General Charles D. Jameson of Maine. The remains of the Battery Jameson are still visible near the old spring house. The battery served to reinforce Fort Lincoln, which was located a short distance up the hill in the District of Columbia. Down the hill was a long open training field called Camp Casey. The fort was named in honor of President Lincoln. Fort Lincoln became the headquarters for the 2nd Pennsylvania Heavy Artillery. Additionally, Company E, 4th U.S. Colored Infantry, was stationed in the fort. After the Civil War ended, the property became part of the farm for the Reform School of the District of Columbia established in 1872. It would become the National Training School for Boys. However, the farmland in Maryland was sold off around 1912, and in 1921, Fort Lincoln Cemetery was chartered by an act of Maryland General Assembly and presently contains 178 acres. The cemetery holds artistic works of marble, granite, and bronze, as well as impressive architectural elements. The little church, designed by Horace Peasley, was a recipient of an architectural award from the Board of Trade in 1929. With soaring arch ceilings, carved wood benches, and Spanish-influenced architecture, the chapel also contains stained glass windows portraying the seven ages of man as outlined in Shakespeare's play As You Like It. Another significant masterwork is the statue of Abraham Lincoln in his last days as a thin, tired, war-worn president in thoughtful and deep meditation. The sculptor, Andrew O'Connor, was commissioned by the state of Rhode Island for their state house, but it was deferred during the Great Depression, with the cemetery accepting the seated Abraham Lincoln in 1947. It was cast by Gora Manufacturing Company of Providence, Rhode Island, and was one of O'Connor's last works. While the cemetery today is a peaceful respite from the busy alternative U.S. Route 1, throughout its history it has seen many marks of war. For these reasons, art, history, and now peace, this is one of our Maryland milestones. <laughs>